What is going on guys, your boy Guns here, and we got EIS and LSK pushing up on ROE. So it looks like um they're a bit of they're at a bit of a disadvantage I would say. Um how strong are these guys? But these guys are literally across the way. They're three bi three point five billion power. I don't think that they're providing much help here as from what we see on the field. So you guys can see here we got EIS here and LSK. Zone 2. There's a lot of crazy Zone 2 fighting going on right now, guys. A lot of crazy Zone 2 fighting going on. Um, you see the EIS is starting their, their first demolition. I want to say this is the first time they're burning flags for these fights, at least, right? To see, can EIS and LSK make it happen? I'm not sure what ROE's... Um, of time is or whatnot but they have a tough task ahead of them you know they got EIS which is a very active alliance and they also got LSK as well sitting at I think like 8 billion power ooh I'm trying to I want to see I want to see some freaking maggot reports man that's what I want to see I want to see some nice maggot reports I wonder if any of them would uh um share we'll see we'll see if we'll, 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 we'll kind of like keep a lookout see like who's running what you'll see the Kanaras, dude Kanara is so good man she's a hundred percent one of my favorite commanders I don't know guys it looks like they're gonna get this oof one hour of destroying one hour of destroying that's a long time I'll have a bunch of players just protecting the dis the destroyers the buildos. We got raindrops here. Who do we got from ROE? Who's in ROE nowadays? The R5 right now. Legend Kaner. Bandit Shun. The Legend. Tuvad. Kolek. Death Dea. Santa. 007. Orca Rider. Daisy. And Stas Under. Alright, alright. I think our boy Crazy Doctor's in this alliance too. In the Rise of the Elites and our boy Villa in the house. I'm not sure exactly where where they're at. But uh They're still going out of here. Oh. This is nice. This is nice how they're doing this. EIS and LSK pushing up, try to give a little bit of breathing room here for their for their destroyers. But now you see, there's a few, like, compared in the numbers, ROE has less, guys. However, they're on home turf, right? They're on home turf, so they got, I think it's like 20% plus. Oh, you got the new artifact right there. Anything within those green circles. ROE has a nice pushback, ladies and gentlemen. Can they make this happen? Oh, my God, dude. I wish this was us, man. Meanwhile, I'm freaking... Meanwhile, I'm freaking farming level 2 nodes and playing Grey Zone Warfare. <laughs> I think, I don't know, I think ROE might have enough numbers here to make it happen, but EIS is thick over here, bro. It's like a, it's like a little beehive right here. Like a little beehive all over the place right here, guys. Look at this. You got Sindrion. Bunch of Sindrions coming up. Some... Some tanks coming up trying to create some space. One of the biggest things that we see a lot of alliances lacking, and I think it's because we're early on in the game, is a lot of a lot of people are lacking on their tanks, you know, to be able to provide that space for their destroyers and their range units to do their thing. You always see there's always one or two tank players only, which is definitely detrimental. Um, I feel like, I can't I mean... Especially as the game progresses, guys, we're probably going to see, like, some nice, solid tank um, uh, presence out in the field as the game progresses. Also, one of the things that I would like to see in the future is, like, the use of rallying and garrisoning becoming a little bit more prominent with these towers, kind of similar to Rise of Kingdoms. I like it. I feel like that gives, like, a whole other edge to the game, you know? I guess this this way it's destroying, right? But imagine if it was more of like a a rally hitting it. You know what I mean? That'd be, I think that's better than destroying towers, man. Destroying towers is so boring, bro. 
<laughs> Not this one's though. Not this one's. Okay, ROE again with a nice little flow here. What a nice little flow here. Showing signs of lives in the 1v2. Showing signs of lives in the 1v2. Oh, someone porting in or out? I can't tell. I think that's out. Someone's porting out. We got our guy Mord in here. Let's go. We got raindrops coming in. Random calf just freaking hail marrying it from the left side. Probably about to get distracted. How you know? Yeah, it's gonna get melted, but you know it is what it is. Maybe it would have been better for him to come down here. Look, see and pick off all these guys, refreshing and whatnot. But you got ROE man punching back, man. These guys are fighters. The rise of the elites. The rise of the elites. We got EIS still holding it down. Um, I think they... Oh, yeah. They got them off the flag. Okay. So, they recalled the buildos. They recalled the buildos. Now, they're back at it. It's pretty even-ish for these exchanges, at least. Good call by EIS. You can see, like, man, whoever's, whoever's leading their, their field here. It's probably like, nah... Don't push too far to build. Okay, build those are back in. RA's backing up. Probably regrouping for another little push to get them off. They're building a keep now. Oh, damn. ROE looking to hunker down, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. Oh, I hear an orb. Nope. I'm trying to see someone get nuked by an orb, bro. Just bunk. Absolutely freaking nuked. Got EIS, LSK, looking to get this tower down. They had it at an hour, now they're back up to hour 17. Once these destroyers start stacking up, though, it might be a little bit better. Okay, never mind. I see some ROR in here. I see some ROR in here. It's not... Where's ROR at? Are they... Okay, ROR is back here, so it's not a 2v1. It's about the same, guys. However, ROR is like way back. I didn't see them back here. They kind of blended in. That's kind of a far walk, though, huh? That's kind of a far walk. I wonder what I wonder what was going on with their uh, building wise. Why? Why it took so long? Oh, uh, maybe that's just how the cookie crumbled. One of the things too that I've noticed, guys is being able to choose when you decide to fight right so the fact that eis and lsk are able to support each other at literally two boxes away from each other right one two literally one two and they're like one two three four five so they have the they have to refresh um so they might not they might not want to fully commit to this one area but it looks like they will um, maybe, I mean, okay, I guess, I mean, it is the battle, I guess, for the rock, so it makes sense why they would want to hold it. I just hope that, um, ROR is able to catch up over here and be able to support them right here on the left side with them. Mm-hmm. They're back on it. They're building another one here. They're probably going to start upgrading them, start launching some cities out of here. Start yeeting them. Start yeeting them. Bum, 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 it's very critical that whoever you and your buddy is, whoever you and your ally is coming in, that your guys' build plan is damn near the same, bro. Damn near the same, almost almost side by side. You know, given the best that terrain allows for. Um, okay, there's the tank. Is he just going to full send it? No way. Okay, smart, smart. Waiting, waiting for a nice little push from ROE. ROE, there you can see them refreshing right here. Nice, nice, nice. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. 
EIS and them. What are the merits looking like up here? What are the merits looking like over here in EIS? I wonder who has the most. I mean, I think their biggest hitters are going to be up front, right? You got 3.9, you got a 4.5. Dude, the production nowadays with the policy is atrocious, man. It is atrocious. And I forgot which content creator said it. I think, was it? Was it Hulkson? I think it was Hulkson. They were saying that the third policy is going to be the future. Oh, here we go. Here comes ROE. Looking to, looking to push him off their tower once again, ladies and gentlemen. Anyways, Hulkson was saying that the third policy was looking like it was going to be... Um, it was looking like it was going to be the future of Call of Dragons with the RSS healing. And I really do believe it, guys. I believe it. Because, you know, the devs, I guess, are trying to do something about people having so much RSS, right? So that kind of makes sense. I, I'll take I'll take the trade-off. I'll take the trade-off um, for, for what it takes. You know what I'm saying? I'll take the trade-off, guys. Because once you have, like, 90-plus percent discount on it like it's it's not too bad compared to before you know however that i do think that definitely creates a, a further skill gap nice dude roe and ror showing some life here eis also still showing still keeping it strong eis and re blasting them out of there solid perfect i love the way they regrouped they're patient with it right they didn't have like two or three guys like not caring about the regroup here marker, which is huge, right? You can see the discipline in, in alliances. Um, I would like to see them kind of, um, yeah, these guys got the idea. These guys got the idea. Kind of banana out a little bit more. They're pretty clumped up into this one corner. Nice. A little, ooh, little 6K bomb there. Yeah, now they can back up. We got Crazy Doctor there. Crazy Doctor 94. All right. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, that guy's done for. Yo. Hey, yo. <laughs> Captain. Meow, meow, meow. He got hit with a gold crest, spear, everything, dude. Oh my god, he got a clothesline from the top ropes, guys. Straight from the top ropes, honestly. Continue going on here. Okay, looks like that we have a nice little shift off to the right. Um, okay, they're moving over to defend this tower. Nice, okay, okay. So I kind of like what they're doing here. I like I like what they're doing here. They're gonna they're gonna start layering their their towers a little bit. Mm -hmm. I like that. I like that. They're almost done building this. Some guys are gonna go refresh. The other guys are focusing on just defending. Not bad. Not bad at all. I was gonna stream it, guys. I I was gonna stream it, but you know. Not really in the. I wasn't really in the streaming mood, so to speak. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. See what I'm saying, guys? Like, bro, someone help out, Emperor, man. Like, where's all the tanks? I mean, I want to be talking, right? I'd I'd be out of tanks as well, but um, one tank? You know what I mean? Like at that point, like for real, like F R F R, like just leave it at home. You're just going to take a crazy amount of freaking sev wounds for no reason. Here comes the orb. 38k. Nice. Nice. Okay, we're seeing some utilization of the poison. Poison is freaking huge, man. I don't think people understand how huge the poison freaking debuff is, man. I don't think they understand. I run I run my level 1 Breath of Gigantis over my, over my Phoenix Eye. <laughs> Because of how much value it brings to the rest of my marches as well. Damn. That dude got wrecked. Why would he do that? See, that's one of the biggest things, guys, in these wars. It's all about freaking positioning, man. Like, you don't want to be the guy that's just sticking out there 
to die. You know what I mean? Like if you're if you're like a freaking kraken or whatever, or like a giga whale or even a whale, you know, you kind of want to stand there and tank like a few marches, cool, whatever, you know, do your thing, be a savage. But as soon as like a whole horde comes up, like bro, don't be that guy. You know what I mean? Play smart like this guy right here, raindrops, doing his little pokes. He backs up. Some one of the things too, guys, to keep in mind, playing this war, um, playing this uh, poke war. You gotta keep in mind of your of your surroundings, right? So one of one of the things that I love doing is node hopping, right? Boom, boom, boom. Especially if you only have one march, boom, boom, boom. Hop in, you're gone. Hop in, you're gone. Hop in, you're gone. You know what I mean? Okay, this is actually a perfect opportunity for me to talk about the flow of the field, right? The way that I like to analyze it here. So as you can see here, right? Say you're playing on pixel mode, right? Which I feel like everyone should be. You, you smack it on simple mode because it it makes it even smoother. Believe it or not, at least that's my that's my thought process with it. So whenever you're here trying to pick off targets, you want to keep an eye out on who's coming forward, right? Not necessarily just who's all the way in the front, which is cool, right? So boom, boom, boom. This guy's getting hit already. I see these guys coming up. This guy's coming up. Like my eyes are getting caught by who's coming up right so there's this that that's the power of uh that i love about pc man you just right click right click right click right click right click right click oh i'm going too far right click further back you know what i mean or you could even zoom in a little bit more hold the icons over your target like like do a little drag and drop and you can kind of see what what um what kind of uh troops i got so nice, dude. Nice. That's good to see. It's good to see. They attempted it. They attempted to take their flag down, but ROE showing some good resilience there, um, despite the presence here from uh, EIS still going a little bit crazy. I wonder. I wonder how long this war is gonna last, man. I think it's gonna be a bloody one. Very, very bloody. I wish if you are observing, you can also see leaderboards, bro. So crazy. Let me message my boy V. I'll be like, bro, send me them leaderboards though. Uh, message him. Can you SS the leaderboards, please? I'll be there for you. My white left friend's on in the background. All right. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, I see what I'm saying. They're upgrading that bad boy. They're going to yeet the, the Mave Orca out of here. Five billion. Sorry, five billion. Whoa. <laughs> you guys can see I've been playing Grey Zone a lot, guys. I freaking love that game. I'm freaking addicted to that game. But this is some good entertainment here. This is definitely some good entertainment here. I love what they're what both alliances are doing here, right? On top of that, it helps out uh, tremendously with lag, guys. Orb, pink, 19k, nice, nice. I love the orb, dude. Nothing compares. Nothing compares. What kind of settings are we at right now? It's, it's going pretty smooth. Hmm. Not bad. Got the Deas proccing the shields for their homies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still a bunch. Like, if you scroll out, you can kind of see, like... You guys can see now how there's substantially more archers in the field nowadays. Right? As you guys saw, some of the merit reports that have been coming in... For, for these new archers is freaking insane. Absolutely insane. I like the ROE guys. I think uh I think they absorbed Al and, and some of the players from DBB and God knows who else. Cause I can't I can't remember but I think ROE was um like 11 billion or 11 or 12 billion now they're probably at you know high 13s or mid 13s at this point
one of the things also guys to keep into account whenever you guys are coming into brawls like this is your troop count right you guys hear me talking about how to you guys hear me talking about how to leverage that elixir capacity don't get me wrong production is great and i'll choose production over capacity any day after that first initial pick right that first initial pick i like doing the um the capacity that way you can leverage your main unit right like right now i think i can have 560,000 elixir saved up through my cap right so that's going to get saved up to uh beef up my archers a little bit more since i only have six almost i have like 680k archers with but with my elixir cap leveraging i'll be able to get that over to um what like like 1.1 1.2 roughly and then be able to rss heal some of that sheesh we're gonna go crazy guys i mean it is the archer season right so we gotta we gotta go hard and ultimately whatever true type is doing the best is what i'm end up keeping you know as far as you know the neat you guys always hear me talking about the needy greedy right on towards that when the fighting starts getting rough those hospitals are freaking full as hell and you can only heal one or two marches at a time before all oh, next thing you know they're pushing us you know what i mean like just it's crazy bro when you play against persistent alliances like that that have like they, all they have is gas bro no break All they got is gas and no break. Actually, a little crazy. Oh, we're hitting orb. Someone died. <laughs> we're hitting orb and someone died. Okay, I like this. I like this. ROE is starting to show substantially more. I mean, when we first came over here to look, ROE had like one or two people. It was kind of crazy. We see our guy crazy doctor. We see our guy crazy doctor in there. See what I'm saying guys? Like we need to spread we need to spread this out a little bit. We need to spread this out a little bit. You know? It's just a clump here. It's just a clump of players. Right? You could even be here. Boom boom boom. Hitting, 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 hitting. I'm targeted back in the city. As long as it's not yours, right? That way you don't you don't lose a bunch of stamina. Boom. Oh, there goes a tank. Okay, there here comes two tanks. Okay. We got a T4 tank and I'm not sure what that one is. I am not 100% sure which one that one is. But you still have them going on here. Oh. Here comes an orb. Oh, I don't think it hit anyone. It might have hit someone. But it was probably a little bit dry. If I can say so myself. Shadow flight. Nice. Get some. Oh. Looking to push forward. Is it going to push forward? Yo, I, st I still think it's crazy. You guys can see, like, the new artifact. Just brock. Like, it's huge. That radius is pretty, pretty intense, right? If you get close enough, right, but uh, that's the hard part, bro. Trying to get close enough to proc, and freak, proc a freaking artifact. That's probably the number one way that my archers have died. When I go to attempt to do the artifact. And I always beat myself up about it. I'm always like, oh, bro, stop doing that, man. Okay, we got this guy over here picking off some stragglers from the resupply line. I like that. I like that. Guys, and this is and this is kind of where people can start incorporating some calf plays, right? Look at this. We have this whole left side over here that, you know, in theory, right, in a perfect world, I know it's pretty chaotic and there's a lot of stuff that the R4s are handling here in this front line. But in a perfect world, you can have like a calf leader, right, that has like a, a set group of people. Let's just say, let's just say the strategy is to keep them staged and when we're refreshing, or whatever or you're refreshing a march then you take control of your of your calves and come around here maybe you have one maybe you have two right um i mean you want to want to pick some of these guys off it's just a thought right it's just a thought and i feel like you'll get better trades over here in like a 1v1 or 1v2 1v3 instead of bulldozing in 
your calves into this or this and then just get absolutely freaking plastered just blasted you're just, you would just be a you would just be another part of the chronicles in the in the in the story of Cala Dragons Cala Dragons Dracarius Oh my god Game of Thrones any Game of Thrones fans guys any Game of Thrones fans man Babe what what was the episode called that I watched all the time in the finals in the final in the final season of Game of Thrones the one where they're defending the the castle against the dead army I don't know what I forget which one it's called the long night or something like that. I don't know. No, nah, that doesn't sound right. <laughs> but yeah, you guys get it. Game of Thrones is cool, man. Game of Thrones is freaking cool. That's why I, I, I'm so into just like war stuff. You know what I mean? Like, for one, I'm a military guy, right? So, you know, it's kind of in my blood. Two... I just find it freaking fascinating, man. I find it really fascinating. Especially this, dude. Like, the amount of dedication. It is called The Long Night. It's called The Long Night? Yeah. Uh, okay, alright. Excuse me, miss. Alright, so... Um... Damn, I had a brain fart. Gone. Gone of what I was gonna say. I mean, they're focusing on finishing this tower, which is gonna upgrade in two minutes. Right, these guys already have a keep going, right? Because they're looking to hunker down a little bit more. I like those keep plays, man. Like, if you put a keep near here or here, right, and they see that and they get overzealous and want to get in there to hit it, that can force them off territory, right? And you can continue to just taking advantage of home turf taking advantage of home turf oh someone got hit by a gold crest interesting getting way too close a lot of these guys here are way too close makes sense though they're trying to defend their buildos oh that finishes building in three seconds it'd be interesting to see what move um roe will be doing here um once this tower finishes, will they go for the burn? Will they go more for the defense? It's looking like it's going to be more of a defensive play. Not only just based off the numbers compared to each other. It's about, you know, give or take even-ish. Some may say EIS and LSK have more. ROE just seems to keep waking up. They probably continued pinging their members like, get the F on right now. Get the F on right now. The tips are touching. It's game on. It's about to get serious here. Okay, okay. Got a nice... Some nice little skirmishes here. Oh, there goes the cab player. Let's watch the cab player, guys. Is he gonna Leroy Jenkins that shit? See, if he comes over here... You can pick some of these, these off. Look at this guy's AFK. Oh, no, he's not. This guy's been AFK for a minute. That's a free lick right there. That's a free lick. Bink. Maybe they should bring another camouflage artifact for cabs and make the camouflage more OP. Like, you can proc it, like, once every five minutes or something. That'd be pretty cool. Kind of just, like, pop up and pop, 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 hitting them, and then you back up. <laughs> That would be pretty cool. I thought they were gonna I thought they were gonna commit to trying to burn this tower. I guess not. I guess not. I mean let's look at this layout. Oh, okay. After this they're gonna meet in zone three. After this they're gonna meet in zone three. Yeah, so you got Okay, yeah. So zone three is gonna be crazy. Interesting, interesting. They could potentially lock each other out, right? They could potentially lock each other out. Damn, zone three is huge. What the hell? <laughs> what the hell? 
That is crazy. It's like five times bigger than the final zone. So they could potentially end the war here. Zone 3 is pretty much going to determine who wins Dragon. Right? Because we look off to the right. If we look off to the right. Uh, who do we got over there? I'm not sure what their powers are. Or who they're allied with. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Yeah, Zone 3 is pretty much going to determine it. This is just a nice little testing the waters situation. You know what I mean? Testing the water situation. Because you never know. Appreciate you guys dropping a bunch of love on the, on the videos, guys. Bunch of people commenting right now. We have, uh, hold on, I gotta sneeze. All right, we got our boy Felix over here. Says best stream ever, bro. We'll be like, hey, bro, thank you for being there. He said, oh, I, f I missed another live. Uh, but I think I'm Oh, damn. I'm gonna say, oh, he's saying, oh, he was trying to win the giveaway so he can awaken his Lilia. I'm gonna tell him for next time. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. I think I, I think I, I think I've been fully caught up on my videos, guys. The other day I took like an hour and a half plus replying to absolutely every comment, replying to every comment, guys. Those of you guys who've been in the, been around in the channel for a few months, you guys know, you guys know how we do it. Look at this. I'm not making this up. Look at that. We have one, two, three, four comments that we haven't replied to. We're going to fix that. I'll read some of them off while we continue having ROE and EIS freaking blasting each other over here. Okay. My boy uh, Trubin says whoop. I'm going to say yeet. <laughs> I love that. I love that. I love that. Helping your boy out. Just dropping anything in the comment sec section to help me out in the algorithm. I love that. Thank you. Saved me a lot of money. ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, I think this guy was talking about the video that I posted, guys, about the gilded bow that I wasn't that I wasn't too impressed. I do think, I do think. I mean, we've, we're seeing the reports, man. We're seeing the reports. I think it's more of the march though than it, than than the artifact is. I'll be honest, but I mean, I may be wrong. We'll see. It could be. It may be that fifty percent, guys, makes that big of a difference with the survivability that they have. Oh, nice. You got the tower over here freaking blasting this player away. Hopefully this player is awake, guys, because he's about to get yeeted across the map, and God knows if he's coming in. God knows if he's online to be able to freaking shield. I'm going to tell this guy awesome. I'm glad. Another testing with Zeta Awaken would be nice. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, I'm gonna be like, for sure. Coming soon. Ish. Alright, this guy said, I tested the passive by going against the same march every time I leveled up the bow. The difference in each report is purely passive as long as you don't use the artifact itself. 
The past six stinks to me in my opinion. It really won't make a difference unless you're only attacking tank marches as an archer. That's why I only recommend that the artifact for people who are running three archer marches who need the artifact to have... I... Yep. I agree with that. I agree with that. 100% agree. Hundred percent agree mainly for those sneaky archer mains. Hold <laughs> he said hold up, what's that hoss build? <laughs> I'm gonna be like that's confidential information. And just like that, guys, just like that, look at this. All channel comments replied to. You know how we do it, man. You know how we do it. All right, we're coming up on 36 minutes of recording, guys. We're coming up on 36 minutes of recording. So far, this looks like a pretty, pretty even fight, and I'm, I'm interested to see how this is going to continue to go. Oh, we got crazy doctor coming back. What is our what is our boy at? 3.3 billion merits. Sheesh. Crazy doctor already. I think he's probably using the policy to save RSS. Yeah, I think he is as well. Mm hmm. 3.9 for this guy. 3.8 for the R5. I think the R5 is pretty much zeroed. Death day. Yeah. Let's see. What is his total power? Yeah, he's pretty much zeroed. 87 down to 60. They've been fighting hard since the pass opened. I wish we were fighting hard, huh, babe? Meanwhile, my wife's trying to beat up my marches for some merits. <laughs> but I'm still healing, guys. My daily elixir production is so bad. Okay, are we starting to... Oh, they're... Okay, here we go, here we go. EIS looking to get back onto the tower. EIS looking to get back onto the tower. You got Sakura there. You got the freaking... That guy moved out of the way because he was getting hit by the tower. Oh, damn. This thing got some range. This thing got some range. Yeah, these guys are going to be here for a minute. <laughs> for a minute i mean this is this is the this is the battle that decides it guys honestly this is what really decides it at least at least for this area right here at least for this zone two right whoever gets this and and wins it gets a huge momentum win you know what i mean and not only are, do you win this area it's a big plus for the for the, like the psychology of the players, right? Getting that first initial victory, which is the hardest one to get, right? After that, it's a little bit more strategic in terms of when you're pushing or how you're defending or anything like that. He said no live stream. Yeah, we're, I really wasn't digging going for a live stream, guys. But that's what I'm saying. At least, you know, I'm able to get this recording for you guys. For some of you guys in ROE or EIS, save this in your archives, guys. One day when we're all freaking retired Call of Dragons players, you know, I won't be. I'll still be around. But, uh, 
we can uh, you can always look back at this at this like ah look at that back in the day look at these wars back in the day it's always some good references to have right especially we never know where the game's gonna be at in a few years right what if what if instead of like a open field scenario kind of thing you're fighting like inside of a castle like a huge castle and these are all like you're going up the steps like oh that'd be sick dude that'd be sick that'd be super chaotic though you're like controlling different blocks right different blocks have like uh talk about talk about freaking um freaking choke points you know yeah these boys are in for a long one man they're pretty they're pretty evenly matched <laughs> once again let's look at this we have EIS is sitting at three point uh, 13 billion power EIS is sitting at 13 billion power we got LSK here LSK is sitting at eight eight billion power Humble Pie, 135 million power player. Yikes. That is a big player. Oh, nice. Look, now they're starting to build over here. All right, all right. I like that. I like that. Then they're going to squeeze in here. Perfect, perfect. All right, compared to ROE, ROE is sitting at a nice 13.1. So a little bit stronger than EIS by power there. I wonder what the numbers were prior to the to the war popping off a little bit. And then you got these guys at 8.2. Damn, dude, this is such a good 2v2. This is such a good 2v2, man. I hope I hope these guys realize how how freaking lucky they are to have this matchup right now. You know what I mean? Look at that. Got some people teleporting out. Got sheesh. All right, all right. Dude, this is where the this is okay, this is when people ask me like, okay, what do you prefer? Right? One like one of the most common questions that I'm getting right now, guys. Nice little vulnerable, but it doesn't work for anything if these guys aren't going to like push up and help him. He better be quick gone, dude. Immediately. Whoa, someone hit him. You guys saw that? Make sure you guys pause that and rewind, yo. That was a 60k crit damage, like normal crit. Does it absorb all the damage and then and then it takes all the damage after the shield is gone cuz they'd be dying way too quick, I feel like. They die way too quick, I feel like. Look at that. They're still going. Looks like they're preparing to do another little push here. Looks like they're preparing to do another little push. A little push, a little push. We're doing a little bit of moving ourselves within our alliance. We're doing a little bit of moving ourselves within our... Oh, bam. Sheesh. I wonder if a lot of people are hiding their magrits right now, their magrits and sedas behind their their canaras. <sighs> Who does this guy have? Oh, this guy's T4. Damn, his canara and who's so hard to see who who is with. Who is that? Kanar and Nico, maybe? Maybe Kanar and Nico. You see the little silver hat? Okay, here we go. EIS, looking at looking to make a little push here, trying to push them back. Prayeth farm free to play. <laughs> is Prayeth an ROE, guys? Monkey D Nico got the amp. Whoa, that is a freaking behemoth of a player. What the hell? 
That is so crazy, bro. 191 million power player. Sheesh. Some, some slight. Something slight. Nice. You got ROE pushing him back now. Look at that. Bada bing, bada boom. Beep, da, boom, boom. Nice. Got some kind of tank presence getting hit by every freaking artifact of all the archers that have been brewing for this moment. Hey, overall did some pretty good little spacing there. Right? Comes out of the bubble, still standing there. Maybe should have ran back and refreshed. I don't know. Still did crazy for their for their team there. This is really just going to come down to who wears who out. You know what I mean? To who wears who out. That's crazy. Alright guys, this is going to be it for the recording. I just wanted to show you guys some coverage here of ROE. I think that this was some pretty solid coverage, I think. Especially because, you know, it's kind of like a 50-50. You guys can see how, you know, they were regrouping, were patient with their pushes. They're taking, they're, both alliances are utilizing their um, blessed ground. Use it, utilizing their alliance territory buffs as their advantage. They're not overextending, saying in a nice, nice line. Not really clumping up too much. Like everything is happening correctly. They're about even in power. So these guys are literally. It's literally going to come down to. Which ultimately. Not all the time right. Sometimes. Sometimes some. Uh, in some matchups. Some players are just substantially too strong. Regardless of how active in another alliance is. But in this situation. I feel like. That's what we're going to have. Look at that. We're seeing a lot of usage of the of the freaking orbs or sorry the shields. <coughs> All right, guys, but that's gonna be it for this video. Let me know in the comment section below who do you guys think is gonna win this matchup? ROE or EIS? Let me know in the comments below, guys. Comments below, just so you guys know. Okay, I don't think I've ever m mentioned this. But as far as the comment section, guys, competitive banter is all good, okay? Anytime it starts getting personal, yeah, we're definitely not going to allow people to comment if, you know, you're getting personal and beyond the game stuff, okay? So competitive banter is all welcomed. Let me know in the comments below, guys, who do you guys think is going to win this matchup between ROE and EIS, which they'll, they'll still see each other again in Zone 3, which will ultimately um, decide who wins that battle. But that's going to be it for this video, guys. I hope you guys like it. Make sure you drop a like. For those of you guys in ROE or EIS, share it with your buddies, guys. That's going to be it. It's your boy Guns here. I'm out.